Hello and welcome back to Adom, the ancient domains of mystery with Bong, our troll barbarian hero, uh, whose life on YouTube started with the previous episode, which is in really in the middle of his adventure. And uh, yeah, I explained all that in the first video, so let's not <coughs> dwell on that. And last time we killed the Cat Lord. Which was a, uh, yeah, one of my greatest accomplishments in Adam so far. Um, um, yeah, I've never actually done that before. I have um, gotten to about this point where I've faced a cat lord and been killed by him, <laughs> uh, but I've never beaten him or uh, or been able to play, you know, without killing any cats so that he is uh, friendly and all that so um, so yeah I guess now we are just gonna have to uh, continue down down into the caverns of chaos further in and see what we can find oh hello what are you stone giant lord okay um, should we do anything about our equipment um, let's see here, we might not need two rings of slaying all the time, I guess the mental stability is, there's a ring of regeneration, mm -hmm. I guess the mental stability is nice, uh, that's confusion resistance, I'm pretty sure, um, gauntlets, I'll go for the dragon hide gauntlets. And, um, uh, yeah, all right. So I just had to look up if these increase our um, hunger rate, but as far as I could tell, they do not. So that's uh, that's a good thing. Did we have any other? We have boots of speed, actually. These are plus six to our protection, so yeah. Uh, we don't really need the Ankh. Um, defense, rapid healing. We have so much regeneration and healing stuff, that's good. Uh, I'll go for an amulet of defense. It's that or rapid healing. Um, yeah, well, this looks good. Let's uh, dive further down into this the Cat Lord level, so to speak. <clears throat> oh, I can find some of my old quarrels here. Drakish Skugari. We don't use those, and we don't really need to sell anything at this point. Splat. Let's be normal mode. You know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Bong is pretty strong. There's a blue dragon. Boom. There we go. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we'll take the food and the money. And this level should be pretty much explored, yes. <clears throat> Yeah, I had to run away from the Cat Lord before I um, before I recorded the previous episode. I met the Cat Lord down here somewhere and had to run away all the way <coughs> and dig through there and just use tons of healing stuff to survive him. But let's not dwell on the Cat Lord anymore. Um, this is a cavernous level? Yeah, as I kind of said earlier, um, this is the part of the game where I really do not have any real um, experience. Uh, none of my characters have really been this far. <laughs> so, uh, of course, I've seen some. Uh, I think I've seen. Um, Gordon Overkill here on YouTube. And I've seen 
seen him play these kinds of, uh, well, uh, this part of the game, but I've never done it myself, you know, that's the, there's a difference there, Etten Corpse, we might just eat it, Air Demon. Ah, oh, yeah, this, she can curse items, it's annoying. She cursed our scrolls to increase melee damage. We shoot her. Pow. With Thunderstroke. Just eat this Eden. Very fat meat. Oops. Um, yeah, I'll take this. I remember we have tons and tons of jelly slaying ammunition, but... But very little... Well, not very little, but... Uh, not too much of other kinds of ammunition, so... Uh, oh, Lord. No! Okay, just an uncursed amulet of protection from undead. <clears throat> and... Amulet of greed? Eh. Yeah, this is my teleportitis key in here. Dagger, five. R. Um, let just see here. Blah, blah, blah. Face daggers away five stone. Does that mean that all daggers away five stone or face daggers? I don't know, I'll just take it. Whoa, stop it. Um a metal helmet. Another helm of teleportation. Great. Well sure, I'll take it. And a potion and a book and the money. I'm going aggressive here because I'm not in stuck in oh scroll of education. Hmm. Unknown potion. Gill, gill, gill. Oh, there's uh <clears throat> necromancer or whatever that was there. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh... Oh, nice. Small shield. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty darn powerful now, so... I should be careful about, um... <laughs> not getting overconfident. No. Potion. Hmm. Whoa. Unknown potion. Eh, whatever. I'll shoot the rust monster. Come on. There we go. Uh, yeah. Well, I could eat the dry meat, I guess. Uh, eat that. Um, no, let's kill that guy or ghost. Six arrows. No. Yeah. Okay. Uh, whoops. I don't know if this green hag also curses my stuff. I'm not sure. Um, let's just shoot her. Yo. Um, thin dagger. A 
it's a throwing dagger, maybe, or something like that. Whoa. Oh, it was a greater claw bug. Wow. Pay attention, dude. He actually hurt me. Uh, oops. Is there any. There's a harumph in the distance. <clears throat> okay. Kill this guy. A plate mail. Ooh. Well. I'm quite fond of my dragon scale males, to be honest. Um, I I only have one here, a black dragon scale male, but back up in uh, Dwarf Town, I have a I think I have a blue and a white dragon scale male, so we might. Want to go back to get those at some point? Just take this troll corpse and. Uh, what are you? Are you in golem? Okay. Let's eat troll. Yum! <laughs> Delicious cannibalism. But no regen bonus, sadly. Yo, blink dog. Oh! Is that. Um, oh. God, uh, the Dorn Beast. <sighs> yes, they can paralyze. So, if I now just I'll probably see invisible. To. Um, let me now use my amulet of free action. That should help. Uh, not coward mode, please. Thank you. Yeah, good. Alright. So far, so good. Still quite a way away from the next level, but God, we need <laughs> so many experience points. Okay, let's uh, try to make some progress here. Um, there might be something down here, but eh. whoa! Oh Lord! Quickling King. Okay, that's gonna be hard. Can I sh shoot him? Well, he's not really doing any damage. Oh, a little bit. He's so quick. Did he die or did he just run away? Hmm. Guess he ran away. <clears throat> Would have been great to get a quickling corpse, but our speed is fairly nice anyway, so uh... it's no big deal. Oh, that's uh. That's a Gorgon, right? Yep. They can petrify. Yeah. Did I still have? I have two amulets of petrification resistance, so I'll use one of those while the Gorgon is near. Oh, and the cat. Gorgon Corpse, I don't think it's a good idea to eat that one. <laughs> nah. 
Mm. I'm just gonna use the rapid healing a little bit. Well, don't really need to, but uh, anyway, let's shoot the chaos lizard. Bow. Oh, no, karmic lizard, I mean, of course. Not chaos. <clears throat> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, 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 calm down. monster let's shoot you not that evil rust skull crusher but uh, you know and now we can kill cats without fear of haha <laughs> any uh, any cat lords anymore uh. Uh. Quickling corpse. Okay. Werewolf corpse. Not sure if it's a good idea to eat a werewolf corpse. It's... Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm not afraid of you, acid vertex. So my black dragon scale mail is. Um, Uh, my my <coughs> excuse me, my black dragon scale mail gives me acid immunity. Mm. Um, right over the downstairs. Oh god, they're all the way over there. What am I thinking? Okay, let's get over there. Kill some stuff on the way. They all keep picking up stuff that I don't pick up. Which is a bit annoying. <clears throat> rabies resistance. Eh. I guess you can get rabies in the game since this exists, but and there's rabid dogs, but I've never had a problem with that to be honest. Or Okay. Uh, identify is never wrong. Scroll of uncursing is never wrong. Uh, oh god. Screw you guys, I'm going down. <laughs> no special message here. No. Okay. It's a very normal level. Here's a statue. It seems to look like a penguin in a strange way. An inscription on the bottom reads, CP violation will be prosecuted by CERN. Okay. Um, kick? No. Okay, well, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> okay, bear corpse, yum. Fine meat. Potential dexterity. Nice, thank you, Blink Dog. Because I'm getting close to my potential maximum. Um, I'm also running out of ways to uh, increase the dexterity without either spending tons of money or um, <clears throat> or being lucky, I guess. Mm. So. Um, Eat goblin. No, I ate a bone. <laughs> Crunch. Um, no. Eat the goblin. Thank you. Now, boink. It's a potion of balance. Sure, whatever. And this animated armor shouldn't be a problem. Oh, nice. Thank you. No! Okay. 
<laughs> Trying to teleport into the wall. That doesn't seem to work. Bam, bam. <clears throat> okay. Oh, there's a ring down there. I guess. Well, there might be something more. I just really hate searching for secret rooms and crap. Uh, distant wind. Wow. That's just... <clears throat> yeah, what I have <laughs> thought about long after the fight against the cat lord is that I should have used uh, this, the orb of uh, fire. Because it gives 10 plus 2 strength, which is, uh, you know, would have... It makes me do a lot more damage. Um, but, well, we survived, so let's use our pickaxe here, and just make a little shortcut. Pixie Corpse, hmm, let me look that up. Oh yeah, it might, eating this might grant us... Excuse me, it might grant us um, teleportitis. So, uh, but we do have that, so uh, I don't know. Well let's, well, let's kill this ghost, which ran away. Let's just eat it. Hey, this tastes like candy. <laughs> okay, sure. Ooh, and here we have the, this must be the air temple, I guess. Stormy winds howl through these tunnels. There is a stair leading upwards here. The air reeks of ozone. Okay, this. <clears throat> uh, yeah, this has got to be the air temple. Um... The ozone thing have any effect? There are the downstairs. And um, yeah, the air temple itself is going to be over on this side. And uh, that's a location I've never been with any of my characters. As are most locations, <laughs> you know, from this point on. Um, the question is, do we... Do I try that out now, or... Well, this video is only a little over 20 minutes, so I guess we can try to... Deal with the air temple. But I am gonna spoil myself self a little bit first. All right. Well, um, <clears throat> two things. One, th this uh, left side of the level, we'll, we will be um, constantly hit by lightning and uh, shock damage, which can also destroy our equipment. And there's no way to protect that equipment. Like you know, you can you can use a fireproof blanket to protect items against fire and that but there's nothing like that for for um this level so what I'm gonna have to do is go back to dwarf town and uh, get my dragon scale males I guess I'll just take them all with me at this point there's really no point in leaving lots of stuff up there now is there so I'm pretty sure the rest of the game will mostly be just Diving further and further down, so um, <clears throat> I don't know if I should just uh, 
Well, you know what? Um, let me go create your demon corpse. Um, well, I don't think a greater demon corpse is a good meal. Uh, anyway, what I was trying to say is that I will use the rest of this episode to walk back to Dwarf Town and and um, nope. Oh no. Uh, no big loss there. Um, I'm gonna use the rest of this episode to walk back to. Ooh, a karmic dragon. Let me. <laughs> uh, easily distracted. Yeah, I'm gonna use the rest of this episode to walk back to uh, Dwarf Town and uh, and uh, get some equipment and all that. And I'll end the episode after that. So if you don't want to watch. Uh, if you don't want to watch all that, you can just um, stop now. <laughs> um, yeah, so in the next episode we'll actually take on the, uh, the air temple. And yeah, because we can't um, protect our equipment against lightning uh, attacks, we are going to have to uh, drop a bunch of stuff probably at the beginning of the air temple level. That should be safe. Oh, damn bunnies. Alright, so let me see, I think it was this stair that leads up to Dark Forge, yep. Um, I'll do this as... Hey, what a nice teleport. <laughs> I'll try to do this quickly, but, you know, it does take some time. Corpse, hey! Well, not that we really need it, but I'll take it with me and sell it in Dwarf Town so that we actually have a backup of that as well. <coughs> uh, let's eat this goblin. There we go. By the way, here I have <laughs> the snake from beyond the corpse and the cooked ancient chaos worm corpse. I guess I could sell uh, or take those to um, Good Alak over in Torino, but I don't really have the need for lots of. Uh, or, uh, Cure corruption stuff right now, so. Alright, inventory management time. So, yes, thank you. Let's drop stuff. So, if you're wondering why uncursed stuff say just you, um, it's because I started this game on my uh, tiny little net. 
laptop netbook thingy and uh, I've set you can in the config file you can set <coughs> you know whatever word or you want to be uncursed so instead of a, since the display on the netbook is so tiny uh, I use just a U there for uncursed stuff so if that looks a bit weird sorry but <laughs> So, the hooded cloak is probably n crap, yes. Um, so the cloak, uh, crappy warhammer, let's see what he offers for the dagger. Three unidentified potions here. Um, well, uh, let's get rid of some shitty herbs. Herb roots we don't need. Yeah, yeah. Oops. Okay, the warhammer. 378 for dagger. That's probably going to be a face dagger, so or something special at least. Yes. Let's check that out. F. E Ooh, swift Eternium dagger. Well, that's cool, but um, and I do have a little skill with daggers, but I'm well. Uh, I kind of like to keep at least one weapon as a backup, just in case some monster manages to... Uh, uh, what's the word? You know, rip the weapon out of my hands. Uh, 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 oh, I, uh, tip of my tongue kind of thing. Um, well, you know, so it's, it's good to have something in backup. <coughs> But the corroded face dagger, that's no point in keeping. 63, yeah. So. Um, no. What? Running a bit low on water. Slash holy water. No, wait. I. I have a bunch here. I uh, yeah, twelve. Holy water there. Oh, and I have this gain attributes we should use. Um Willpower can still go up a bit. And there was was here a potion of I'll save this one for later. So potential dexterity, potential strength. Well, we have quite high potential strength, I think. Let's take this one. And let's dip. Um wait, oh there it is. Dip that into holy water <clears throat> and drink the potential willpower. Very nice. Now we can get willpower to twenty five and willpower we train with I always have trouble remembering this, but Moss of Marelan, that's for dexterity, and Morga roots are for 
toughness and willpower, I think. So let's eat a couple of more gear roots. Since toughness can't really go up this way, I think it's enough to eat two more gear roots to train willpower. We'll try that. See what happens. Um, next. Mm. There's an uncursed potential dexterity. I have here another uncursed potential dexterity. Save these for later. Uh, well, I could just take them with me, maybe? Hmm. Well, uh, <laughs> let's at least bless the potion of potential dexterity and drink it. There we go. Now, dexterity can go up a bit. But it's at 25, so... Um, most of Morelon won't really do anything right now. And maybe not ever again, unless our... Uh, Dexterity gets drained somehow, but yeah, let's just drop all those. Cursed Morgan root we don't need. Ugh. All right. <clears throat> um. Next. Um. What's up? Dexterity. And dip. into holy water. Now we drink. Uh, there it is. Dexterity goes up to 27. Excellent. One more potion of dexterity and we can uh, we'll reach our potential maximum for now. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm still not sure if we should cure this. Let's have a look at the wiki here. Um, corruptions. Um, what what what's the wording here? Uh, long fragile stilts. Stilts. Reduces movement. Yes. Blah, 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 blah. Quite a nasty loss of PV, yeah, that's the, the energy movement cost thing is quite good. It does stack with seven leg boots. Hmm. Well, um, yeah, I haven't really noted, well, the appearance minus six is not ideal, but I don't know, what can you do? Um, okay, so, oh, <clears throat> pick up some holy water. And, um, once we have, using uh, Morgan Roots, we have willpower to 25. I think it's a good time then to use the uh, gain attributes potion. Bless it so that it will increase everything with one point, and uh, and then probably also the uh, yeah, there's another potential dexterity, yeah, potential strength. Um, anyway, what do we want? Um, yes, we want this blue dragon scale mail. Don't need the white dragon scale mail because. We have um, intrinsic cold immunity, so I'm gonna get this one with me. Um, Dragonite Gauntlets, they only give resistance, not um, immunity, right? Yeah. Well, 
But I guess that's really all we need or want. Invisibility, no. <laughs> I guess <clears throat> we should recharge one um, a wand of teleportation because we you know in case we get in a situation where we really have to have to use um, teleportation on demand so to speak that won't be in the uh, in the uh, in the air temple because that's a no teleport area but uh, well you never know what's gonna happen in the future so while I remember to do it let's dip a wand of teleportation into what do we have we have two potions of raw mana that should work no really raw mana why ah oh. Increased the power point regeneration rate. Oh, stupid. Okay, well then I'm just gonna fucking... Uh, drink this potion of raw mana that I don't really need. <laughs> okay. Um... Wand of teleportation into Do we really have nothing to 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 to, to, to recharge the wand? I have booze. So that's well that's one charge at least. Better than nothing. Um, so, potions. <clears throat> I'll take these booze potions with me. Anything else? Oh, there's a potion of mana that could um, that can recharge the wand. Yeah, uh, dip. Wand of teleportation into uh, F, potion of mana. There we go, five charges. Excellent. Alright, so, um, yeah, I guess that's what we wanted to do here. Now we'll go back down into the into the caverns of chaos or the bottom part um, but as promised I'll end the episode here and say thank you for watching and um, and uh, please do join me again next time so uh, to see to see how it goes with bong until then take care <laughs>